Welcome back to the Men of Victory weekly encouragement video, where we just take a few minutes to encourage you to be the man of God that you're created to be. Man, Mr. Doug, can I call you Mr. Doug? I can call you Mr. Doug, but yep. Doug Baker brought such a powerful word about six weeks ago on the sage, um, the sage in our life, being that sage. And so, and you came to me and said, dude, I got, I got another word and I'm excited <laughs> for this because that was such a powerful word. Uh, but Doug Baker, thank you for being on the show today. Appreciate you, my friend. Uh, what do you got for the men today? Well, got some serious stuff, I think, today. Uh oh. Um, I'm usually like to joke around and you, you know how I am. Yeah. Um, but I think I got some serious stuff as, okay. as a lot of these gentlemen will know, been in an accident. Yep. Uh, God has been putting me back together for about a year and a half now. Okay. Getting real close, getting okay. real close to the end. Um, but I, I was thinking, sitting at home and thinking and praying, and he really brought to mind John uh, sixteen thirty three. We've all heard it. You know, in this life you will have trouble. Mm -hmm. And I thought, you know, I, I have, but I don't, it doesn't bother me to have had that trouble. And then I got to looking at the entire verse, and it re there's more to it than what what I had understood. <laughs> and it actually says, "I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. Ooh. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart; I have overcome the world." Oh wow, that's good. And I got to thinking back about the accident, some things that happened early on in my marriage with with Deborah, and some some pretty tough things that by God's grace, mm -hmm. because trust me, I'm not that spiritual, by God's grace, got through them. And actually, they were a great thing in my life. They helped me to grow. They helped mm -hmm. me to become stronger. Um, you know, we, we think about, you know, when we go through something hard, am I going to be able to get through to the other side? Am I going to be able to handle this? Right. And it struck me that through anything that's ever happened to me, it hasn't been by my thought. It hasn't been by my strength. I can't do these things. Right. You know, I can't I can't heal up. I can't be happy for what's going on. Um, but I can only do it because of Jesus and the strength that he gives me. Right. And I've learned that by leaning in and 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 giving to to God the things that are going on is how I get to the other side. Right. And I gotta believe that's for all of us men. Mm-hmm. You know, we're we're big, strong guys. At least some of you guys are big, strong guys. <laughs> um, I'm not sure I am anymore, but uh, I am what I am. Right. But always and every time I've tried to do it in my own strength, right. I can't do it. Right. But when I lean in and I get close to God and I pray and begin to put more emphasis on what he wants and you know, what is your will in this thing, right. he always, always, always always takes care of me yep you know i always look at the strongest men that that are in my life they're not men that have not had to go through troubles right we all are going to go through trials uh through troubles in our life but the definition of a man in my book is who can go through a trouble and learn from his mistakes absolutely so we don't make those mistakes again that is the word um, because at the, the end word. of the day guess what we're getting called back to heaven yeah and we've got eternal life with god and what better example of a Christian is, hey, you know what? I'm willing to say I make mistakes, but I'm going to grow from those and not live in those mistakes any longer. Absolutely. So if we just remember that just like in Romans eight twenty eight, that mm -hmm. all things work together for good. Yep. To those who love God and are called according to his purpose. Yep. Not to our purpose. Yep. You know, and the great Rocky Balboa said, it's not how hard, how hard you get hit. It's how hard you get hit and keep getting back. That's exactly That's right. That's the definition. That's so, right. So, hey, we threw some Rocky Balboa in here. You know me. <laughs> I'm going to get that in there. So, Who'd, who'd have thought? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> so, powerful word. Uh, man, that was such a good word for these guys. Uh, can you do me honor? You want to pray for these men today? Absolutely. I'd love to. All right. Father, we love these men that hear this thing. We, we know that what they're hearing is your word mm -hmm. and not ours. And we just ask that you would you would uh, enable them to take that word and begin to fold it into their lives and to lean into you and to apply what you keep speaking to the, to us about. I just pray a blessing on every man that hears this word that for his family's sake and for his church's sake, that he's able to grasp it and apply it to, to the way his life is. 
And again, I just pray a blessing on every man that hears this word. And I pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Powerful word. Thank you, Mr. Doug. You are welcome. You know, the troubles we go through don't make us any less of a man. No. It makes us stronger of a man. So guys, whatever you're going through, you're going to be stronger because you put God first in the midst of those troubles and push through to the other side and learn from them. So guys, great word. Thank you guys. Appreciate you guys all watching every week. Um, And we'll see you guys next week for your weekly word of encouragement from the men of victory. 